Hey everyone, drunk here, and I may or not be FPS Chasley. <laughs> uh, no, I might be a little uh, under the influence. Today is homecoming for my school. Oh god, slow down. And uh, Next turn for three, three knot maneuvering. maneuvering. Aye. Aye. I had some fun uh, doing a little bit of day drinking today. This is the second time I've tried this mission. Third time, technically, if you count all the uh, all the times I uh, well, I did this once on re I tried to do this once on reinforce alert mod, and I thought reinforce reinforce alert mod, and uh, wasn't going so hot. Holy crap, dude! This ship has to be right next to me. That is so loud. I, I don't even know if I should bother marking half these dudes. I mean, most of these guys are my fleet. In this mission, we gotta worry about enemy subs. I don't really care about the fleet as much. Just kind of want to have them there so I can like be like, yeah, fleet dudes, not a sub. All right, so yeah, so the thing to get, I have to fucking understand this mission is that uh, snapshots. I want to snapshot. When someone launches on your fleet, you're gonna want to snapshot at them, just down the line of bearing, to make them run away so you can like get into position to like run after them. Eh, I think it's good enough to merge those. Here, eight, here, three. But yeah, I'm trying something out for the first time right now. When I record this, I usually do it through fraps. So I usually do it in such a way so that um no no don't do that. I do it in such a way so that. I just record my mic with fraps, but right now I'm doing this to record fraps. I just record the, the, the video with fraps and I'm going to record with Audacity so I can have the in-game sound to max volume right now for optimal playing performance here. So let's see what we got. Invincible. What do we got down here? Jang Hu. Jang Hu. Krivak 3. Nimitz. Kuznetsov. Kuzia. Da, Kuzia, Savremini, and this is really bad sometimes. Oh, s uh, that could be possible. I have new contact bearing. Two, five, zero, and then for the uh, the conformal, you're gonna want to zoom it in a little bit so it's easier to see these different contacts as they're different frequency lines. Okay, here, Ohio. That doesn't make any sense. That's the Kuzia. So maybe you want to zoom it out a little bit more. Okay, so it's Nimitz. That's fine. As long as it doesn't say Ohio. <laughs> None. You just have one. Supply U.S. The hell. Fuching. Okay, Fuching is what I buy right there. That makes sense. Our right, mass antennas raise the scope. <clears throat> All right, so this is what we have to do in this mission. We're escorting the Chin Luck. Uh, the Chinese bought a Kuznetsov-class Russian carrier, and they renamed it the Chinluck. And our mission here is to escort it all the way to the successful transit line, but uh, there's going to be some baddies in the way, so... I don't know if I'm going to be able to actually do this. Wait, what is the con what's bearing on this contact? One through two. Let's we'll see if there's actually a ship on this bearing. There is a ship on this bearing. Whatever that is. I'm bringing it over this way. Should be seeing... Oh, hello. Another ship. Yeah, all our bad guys in this mission are uh, submerged threats. There's Kuzia, or Chin Luck. Another ship. Savrimini. What did I? What bearing was that Los Angeles track on? Well, that's one of those uh, U-Tings. That's a LST. It's another ship. I don't think we'd be able to pick him in LA unless he was actually like making like juice for good knots. <laughs> unless he was actually like going fast is what I mean to say. Eh, zoom out, zoom out. Hello. Going away from me, I see some big old guns. Yeah, this group seems to be not very well put together. What the hell is that? Whatever, the point is, like, if it's a surface ship, it's not a potential target, as far as I'm concerned. And there's Kuzi again. Alright, so let's lower this bad boy. Let's raise the radio mast. Raise the antenna. Keep the watch high. Hmm. I'm not going to hear as much up here. This close to the surface. There's a lot more surface clutter up here. Let's uh, head south. 
Come right to cost one, so we can get our conformal seven, eight, helm I. to read off in this direction because the conformal is pretty good. It's definitely better than the cylindrical. And yeah, the Russian subs have cylindricals. That's why they have tubes coming straight out of the bat like this. American subs have the spherical, which means they have to come out axially, like along the sides here. <sighs> and no updates on the radio, so lower that no and let's go down. Watch I. Make my death zero three not. Die, I. Report any foreign forces encountered immediately. Does that mean like... Well, I'm gonna probably keep this wire streamed. Let's uh, make turns for three knots. Make turn for three knots. Maneuvering, I. <clears throat> Go ahead and speed up time here. Steady on call. One, seven, eight. Didn't look like you were studying on that course. You kind of over, overshot that. Well, I did slow down during the turn, so... Sorry. Alrighty. Oh, we got air. Yeah. Now zoom out with the bow. Jing Hu, Silver Mini. What are you? Hello? Hello? Give me a contact. Nothing. Daphne. Hailong. Harushio. Invincible. Type 42. Duke. Ah, uh, what is this? Dude, so many Great Britain things. Kuzia. There you go. Uh, Type 42. What are you? Why are you not showing up? Um, come back here to this guy. Conformal. Zoom in. Nothing. Jing Hu. Spruance. Yu Ting. Yes, yeah, LST. Kilo. Got a little Kilo dude running around out here. Yeah, we got some Kilo allies on this mission. And I think it's a, a song, maybe. A Fu Chang. <clears throat> Los Angeles. Con Sona, I have new contact bearing. Three, zero, zero. Designated Sierra. One, two. That is definitely not Los Angeles. It's like that, that third frequency line is not even that, like, ambiguous. It's right there. How are you, like, not giving me... A reliable readout right now. Yeah, Victor 3. If I remember correctly, we also have some Victor 3s on this mission. Well, that's a pretty strong case for an LA. Can I zoom out? Is there another frequency line? What about the bow? Or the cylindrical? Nothing. Uh, hmm. Interesting. Hmm. See, it's like, it's crap like this that makes me want to go up to Periscope Death and just check it out. So let's actually do that. Make your death one nine. Make my death zero one nine. Just I just want to like check down that bearing and see if there's like some ship there that I'm picking up instead. That sounds like an LA potentially. It's three hundred. Wow, really? Nothing. Um, hmm. There's absolutely nothing around that bearing. Well, my inner nerd has come out and I printed out the sonar profile sheet. So let's see what else sounds like a Los Angeles. 60, 125, 320 are the first frequency lines. The Victor is 50, 125, 360. So it's not a Victor 3 on that bearing that my sonar might be confusing that for. Uh, surface ships, what are we looking for? We're looking for 60, 125, 320. What do we got? 60, 125, 320. That could be an Oliver Hazard Perry, a PFG2, or an Oliver Hazard Perry. That's actually a pretty good case for Los Angeles. Is there really like an LA up there? That would be insane if there was actually an LA like right here. That would be freaking nuts. What do we got? We got Christian Bering 125. Uh, the case for this seems to be kind of diminishing. Like, I can't even, uh... Nairband's not even acknowledging it anymore. Hmm. Well, it seems like the fleet is getting ahead of us, so maybe we should head south here. Yeah, I think we should head south. We should secure from all this stuff and... head us south. What's the point of escorting the carrier if the carrier is frickin' in front of us, right? So, 
Let's uh, head this way. I'll head to third. Just make your depth three nine. Make my depth zero three nine. Let's bring that wire back in. Floating wire. Jedi on call. One five six. All right, it's all in. Let's uh, flank it up, actually. Yeah, I know I'm cavitating. We gotta make up some distance here. As long as I know where my ships are, generally, I'm not really gonna bother making solutions for them. It's kind of just like a big waste of time. None of this is a waste of time. It's just spend so long like working on them that you might overlook an LA or an enemy sub or something. So I'm just kind of just like getting, trying to get in a position here, <clears throat> get back in front of the fleet, actually do my job. Just to listen for enemy subs. Hopefully, I can like do this under the mask of my fleet to some degree. Holy crap! Dude, someone just sank that guy. Yeah, you better stop. Yeah, I'm pretty much flying blind at this point. I can't even hear torpedoes. Whoa! Uh, I'm going too fast, so I don't even know if that's like the bearing that they got launched on. I'm just going to launch a torpedo down both those bearings. 1, 2, 3, and 1, 3, 7. Do it. 1, 2, 3, and 1, 3, 7. Now, last time I did this, I forgot to set the depth to shallower because this water isn't shallower because this water isn't that deep. That's good enough. And then preset 137. And yeah, there you go. Alright, so I'm just going to launch these two bad boys off dummy. Just general snapshots, trying to like shake up, rattle whoever's on those bearings so I can try to get into a better position to pick them up or something. Holy crap, holy crap, holy crap. Oh my god, that's so loud. Holy shit. Is that locked on the me? I don't know. I hope not. <laughs> Damn, they sunk another ship. Jung Wei. Yeah, I just need to get these torps out here on snapshots to try and scare their asses. Yeah, and these torpedoes don't have any wires, they kind of just go. Damn, set 53 MEs. The test 71s are the only, like, torpedo that's actually somewhat reasonable to use against ASW. But yeah, I'm just trying to launch these. Like, they're not even, like, fast enough to catch up to an LA. Like, an LA can just run outrun these by six knots, so. Just kind of, like, shake and rattle them up a little bit here. And I'm going to continue my run flank. Oh, I flank. Helm I. Uh, maybe not flank. Maybe we should do two thirds oh, just so I can try and still oh, hear somewhat a little bit. Helm I. Consona. Oh, I explosion. Helm I. Of Sierra. One. I think I can still hear somewhat at this degree, maybe. <laughs> maybe not. Maybe try 12 knots. Okay, I can still hear a little bit on the uh, cylindrical here. Like, if this just gets these guys to run a little bit, that's all I want to do. Try and get them run a little bit, shake them up. Alright, let's get up to periscope depth here and uh, see what we got Make going on. Zero, one. Nine. But yeah, I'm actually doing this at the request of someone. Yeah, sorry if I haven't uploaded a video recently. I've been trying to run all these missions and Fraps has been crapping out. Or uh, shit just hasn't been going the way I want. But I'm doing this at doing this at the request of someone who wanted to see how this mission should be done. I don't even really know how it should be done. I'm just kind of spitballing here, but we'll see how it goes. I'm just going to clear all this crap off of here. Oh god, who are you locked on to? Uh... uh that's not good. I was slow down. Make turn for five knots, maneuvering I. Alright, I hear countermeasures out there. Consona, no longer cavitating. A ship. Countermeasure. That's a ship. And that's something special. Countermeasure. Countermeasure. It's a ship. Alright, let's uh raise the scope. Mass antennas, raise the scope. 
Raise the radio mass. Raise the antenna. Keep it what you got. Oh, all my torpedoes just ran out of fuel anyway, so whatever. I'm looking in the complete opposite direction I want to be looking. 257. Hello. Hello, hello. Wow, Kuzio is really far up there. Jeez. If I really let them get that far ahead of me, Yu Ting. Yes, I see you, ESM. Okay, there's no one else around, except for that guy. There's nothing else around here, man. Jeez, alright, I'm just gonna put on the bearing I'm going, and then lower this bad boy. And then nothing from here. <sighs> alright, what do we got on the narrowband here? Kuzia. Los Angeles. I have no contact bearing. One, zero, hey, raise you back up. I want to check out 108. One, There's nothing on 108. I'm going to launch on that. There's nothing on 108. So it looks like we got an LA out there. <clears throat> Have any other LAs? Mark 48, add cap torpedo. Holy crap. U10. Another Los Angeles. What bearing is that? 279. Nothing out there. What else could you be? That's definitely not Los Angeles. Ohio, OHP, Avenger, Osprey, Mark 46, Mark 50. Those kind of match up. Why would there be Mark 56s or Mark 50s out here? Kilo matches up. Okay, that, that's probably a kilo then. Where's that Los Angeles thing? Los An that's a pretty convincing case. That's a pretty convincing case for Los Angeles, this guy here. Los Angeles. Confidence high. Assumed hostile. Uh, okay. We have a tracker on him. Need to find him on the cylindrical. The only cylindrical. <laughs> nope. Oh no 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 no. Oh, is that the same bearing? I have no contact. No, it's a different bearing. Hmm. I have to get him on the cylindrical to even find demon data. So, f fuck. What bearing is that? 108? I classify him on 108. Countermeasure, yeah. Consona, I have no contact bearing. One, <laughs> there zero, you go. Seven, designated Sierra. One, six. All right, I'm gonna launch another snapshot on that bearing. Uh, let's use a big boy here. Sierra 14, test 70, test 71, whatever the hell it is. Uh, run to enable. I don't even know how far away it could be. Should I Yankee search him? I don't know. Should I shoot out a ping to try and get him? I feel like it's inviting all kinds of hurt, but I want to actually have like a decent solution here. I don't know if there's actually anyone by that bearing. What bearing is that? 108. <clears throat> it's Kuzi all the way out there. There's another u right here. Yeah, I think I'm actually going to shoot out a ping. Oh my god, you're crazy, man. Well, what bearing am I actually looking for? 108. So let's get this train to 108. Uh, range scale, kilometers, me. 40,000 yards, that's 20 nautical miles. I don't need to go that far on the range scale. Ah, just do it. Some close aboard dudes. Stuff I can't make sense of. More stuff even further out. Damn, I gotta drop down this range scale and do it again. One more. One more ping. Give me a ping, Vasily. One ping only, please. Is this anything? Oh, hey, that's an active return. 
I think that's a Kuzia though. One one eight. Yeah, it's just a Kuzia. Alright, I didn't even pick up anything on one one seven, so I'm just gonna set this to run for like however long it can run. So yeah, that's good. Fine. Launch them. And maybe I'm gonna head off in that direction once I launch this dude, try and get closer. Fire! From left to course one, two, nine, helm I'd lower yourself. Go down here. Make my death zero. I'll head standard. Recommend lowering recommend all masks and antennas. All masks and antennas. <laughs> Very well. Yeah, let's run this way. Yeah, no more of that pinging crap. Holy shit. Oh yeah, go back down to 12 so I can actually hear what's going on. Maybe I have to hear something on the cylindrical. Uh, that's my... Uh, whatever that is. Ming. Should I be picking up my torpedo? Where's my torpedo? Okay, maybe this Yuting is the alligator. Or that alligator is the Yuting. I'm not picking up whatever the hell that is. I don't know how long you've been going for, but I guess you should be going active soon. If you haven't gone active already. I think it should have already gone active. It's gone. Disappeared. Out of fuel. Jeez, man. Alright, let's come out of this running. And let's go this way. If this, is kind of if this seems kind of sketchy, it's because it is. All this, like, sprint and drift kind of crap is a kilo. I'm trying to find a Los Angeles here. Take me back to Periscope depth. God. Make my depth zero zero I had that like I was chewing on that LA. Maybe I should have just kept at it instead of trying to be so hasty. But if he was running away, it's not even like my torps could have gotten out to him. He's just so damn far away. Ah. <sighs> Load me up with the test. And let's speed up time here to Periscope depth. Holy shit. Alright, I'm snapshot on that bearing, man. I, don't, I need to get something off. <laughs> uh, I launched two sets. Preset 104. Very good. Preset 104. Can't be letting this guy like think he can run the roost around here. Equalize, 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 come on. Let me get these snapshots off. 104, nothing on that bearing, except for a sub. I launched on that Yuting, there's Kuzia. Alright, launch. Uh, I guess that's my, yeah, those are my torpedoes. <laughs> it's like, uh, is there a torpedo right there? <laughs> okay, so. Kuzia, Yuting, Mark 48. <laughs> whoa, hello. Supply US. Whoa, 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 whoa. Consona, torpedo in the water, bearing one. Los zero, Angeles, four. 104. He launched another torpedo, so he probably launched it on me. So maybe I should get out of here. I think I should get the hell out of here. Maybe 2,000 frequency scale. Yuting. Boris Chilkin. Boris Chilikin. Boris Chilikin. Alright, yeah, lower all my crap and let's get the hell out of here. Is that the only thing I had up? Yep. Uh, make it up 3-9. Let's go Come this way, right. and run away. <laughs> I launched sets, didn't I? Yeah, just close these tubes. I don't have quick reload on, but this is reloading pretty quickly. 
Oh, I saw chocolate milk. What am I doing? Drink that shit, man. 